no, 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 no. Pain, suffering, and uh, lots of ready meals. Um, can I say the F word? Uh, no, I cannot. <laughs> and what year are you in, Sarah? I'm in second year. Hey there, welcome to Kemen's Weekly. Hey there, welcome to Chemeng Weekly, where we cover everything to do with chemical engineering. Today we are in front of the Royal Albert Hall, just opposite Imperial College London, and today we'll be asking Imperial Chemical Engineering students what they think about chemical engineering. It's going to be a great video, so make sure you like, subscribe and comment, and watch right to the end. And without much further ado, let's get right into it. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm AJ. I'm Katie. I'm Pratham. Hi, I'm Radhika. Hi, I'm Sarah. Uh, my name is Keith. Um, I'm Isabel, but most people call me Izzy. Hi, hi, I'm John. My name is Alice. Dimitris. John. Hi, my name is Humphrey. Okay, Humphrey, what year are you in? I'm uh, year two, chemical year two. engineering. I'm in second year. I'm in first year. I'm in second year at the moment. I'm in year two currently. I'm in second year, going to third year. Very nice. I love the optimism. <laughs> okay. I'm in second year. I'm first year. I'm in third year. Second year. And I'm in third year. Okay. I'm in second year. Okay, awesome. What is chemical engineering? What's chemical engineering? Um, to me, chemical engineering is like, basically, is it's not, it's like engineering and chemistry, but the reason. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the misconception, in my opinion, of chemical engineering is that like it's kind of like very similar to chemistry. The chemists kind of design the products and like the the chemicals that we kind of see in industry, but the ones that you kind of consume, like the foods, the products, the soap products, and all that kind of stuff, like it's really chemical engineers that really scale up that process and make sure that like. Is produced at like a mass level. I think to me it's a combination of process engineering but also more a lot of like environmental engineering and uh, yeah a little bit of pharma if you would get into third year. <laughs> chemical engineering I think of it as a bit of maths, a bit of chemistry, a bit of physics all combined together to do a big process. It's engineering, it's definitely engineering not the misconception of the whole it's not engineering, it's definitely engineering with bits of chemistry in it. That's how I describe it. Okay. Basically a lot of designing, a lot of uh, figuring out how you can mass produce stuff. So we learn a lot about thermodynamics, we learn about a lot about like reactor design and plant design and making sure it's like safe and environmentally friendly and so on. Yeah. I'd say chemical engineering is to do with large scale processes involving things that range from energy to pharmaceuticals um, and food and water processes and chemicals as well. Uh, chemical engineering is a discipline in engineering that focuses around processes and designing processes as well as you know things that are more on the front end side of things say you know um, some technologies say alternative energy sources those kind of things. Chemical engineering is taking different engineering disciplines and also parts of like maths, chemistry or physics to kind of solve solve problems in the modern world to do with like process like industry creating like chemicals like manufacturing that kind of thing but I feel like it covers like a lot more than that it's, this beautiful, it's a beautiful science where you have the ability to really create anything and everything from, I suppose, the whole set of processes. Broadly speaking, it's three things. Getting stuff from point A to point B, reacting stuff from A to B, and everything in between that you need, so the money, the pipes, whatever else you can think of. Chemical engineering is basically you learn maths and physics and put them together and do a bit of... Um, I don't know, chemistry, and then that's engineering. <laughs> like chemical engineering is not chemi chemistry at all. Chemical engineering is the link between perfection of chemistry and the real world where we need like practicalities like yields and stuff like that. So we look at that side of aspects as well instead of just the pure chemical aspect, which is more for the lab, let's say. Uh, lots of maths. Okay, interesting. Um, would you recommend chemical engineering? If you like maths, yes. Of course I would. I love the course. I would. It's definitely difficult, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, definitely. Of course I enjoy it. I actually do enjoy it. No cap. <laughs> For real. Uh, definitely, I think I would recommend ChemEng because you get to learn a lot of like skills. In my opinion, you get to learn a lot of hard skills. Like You get to improve your math skills and like use a lot of technical stuff like MATLAB and Aspen and stuff like that but you also get to learn a lot of soft skills, communication, teamwork. Yeah, I think I would recommend Kimmage. I think it's a really like broad discipline. Like, If you're not 100% sure what you want to do, I think almost, but like you like maths, chemistry, like the idea of like solving problems and physics. You have to like physics, I think, if you want to go into Kimmage. I think, yeah, I think it's great. It's very intense and stressful at times. 
I do think, but I think it is rewarding at the end of the day. So yeah, I would recommend Kevin Rogers. Yes, but I think you have to be a bit more certain about it. I think a lot of people, they see chemical engineering and think, oh, I like chemistry, I like maths, it's right for me. I yeah. think you have to be a bit more, find out what does, it, what does engineering actually involve. I would, yes. That's an interesting question. I think it really depends on what you believe your objectives are. I think if you're someone interested in solving problems and creating stuff that well, people might use, or solving some of the world's largest problems, then I suppose that's maybe something you may want to consider. I mean, I would recommend it if someone likes that, that aspect of connecting the perfection of science to the real world and like seeing the application of that, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it to someone who's very passionate about pure chemistry. Chemistry is much more uh, focused on the lab and the, the micro scale, whereas uh, engineering is a more macro scale uh, sort of enterprise. That's difficult. If it's for you, yes, like you have to look into it. It's not for everyone. I won't lie and say you should do it. It's not for everyone. But if it's for you, like if it looks fun, you should definitely do it. Okay, okay. Um, what difficulty would you rate ChemEng out of 10? I wouldn't put it 10, I'm not going to say it's 10, I'd put it 8. Obviously it's, it's person dependent, but I think, I mean I know other courses, so I would say it's probably an 8 out of 10, um, but it is hard and there there can be times you know, where you've got a lot of projects all at the same time, but I definitely think if you do manage your time it is manageable, yeah. Probably an 8, because it's really really hard, but it could possibly be even harder. If I had to put a number on it, it's definitely a, at least an 8, at least an 8. It depends what you like and what you're good at, but I'd say it's definitely up there, but you know. 7.725. Very specific. Why that number? Uh, it's just the back of my mind. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of Andrea. So. <laughs> I suppose that really varies from person to person. So for me, it's like a 5 or a 6, but if you don't understand how an engineer thinks, it's probably closer to a 9 or a 10 out of 10 depends how I'm feeling on a certain day, I think. Um, probably like 8 or something, I don't know. Uh, maybe 6, it's, it's a 2-1. <laughs> um, yeah, because the, it's, well at least for first year, maybe I'll give it a 5 because the content isn't that difficult. Well, we can say otherwise for the exams, but the content isn't that difficult. And maybe it'll get up to 10 by, by the end of second year. <laughs> Oh, 9. 9.5. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 12 out of 10, because I think I failed my uh, reaction engineering exam. <laughs> I would say a solid, like, 8 out of 10. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Um, what advice would you give to students considering doing ChemEng? Um, definitely do it. <laughs> if you're interested, you know, in, like, physics. One thing I do want to say to all the girls out there, because when I chose ChemEng, I was told, oh, do software, do something else. But if you're really considering it, if you're really interested in it, um, do it. I know a lot of people say, you know, there'll be a night shift, there'll be a lot of like, you know, working on a plant. But trust me, it's really fun if you like doing it. So don't let other people, you know, tell you that not to do it. Empowering. I like that. I like that. Um, um, make sure you're good at maths and make sure you enjoy doing maths and loads of calculations and make sure you enjoy doing physics as well. Look at other options and take your time. I'd say if you like science and you like pursuing something where you can see a real world impact, um, and especially with relating to the energy transition and things like that, I'd say definitely go for it, give it a try. And Don't listen to what people say, the misconception. Look into, look into what you're actually doing. And if it's for you, like you'll find it fun. It's a good course. Expect not that much of chem, but ChemEng is definitely difficult, quoted by, you know, someone really, really intelligent. <laughs> chemical engineering is definitely difficult. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into, like, especially Imperial ChemEng, like, don't expect to be living, like, I don't want to shade in unis, but there's other unis that, like, if you want to have a good time, relax, have fun, you still can have fun at Imperial, but you're going to have to do a lot of work. See what jobs you can go into, see what the pay is, because a lot of people get paid or, like put off by the pay. So if you don't like the pay, like just don't apply to chemical engineering. Learn to think like an engineer. I think the hardest thing for many people is that they do not have the feel or the instinct of how to solve a problem correctly, how to break something down into maybe 20 to 100 different steps. It ultimately comes down to, I suppose, looking at the process, not being int intimidated by it, asking yourself what goes in, what comes out and what goes on in the middle. 
enjoy what whatever you're doing for now like and know that is chemical engineering is going to be chemistry no, sorry <laughs> maths and physics for most not get do not get too stressed out enjoy their first year and don't pay too much attention on what happens on the group chat because people freak out all the time okay that's great <laughs> complete the sentence chemical engineering is a field in engineering <laughs> fun <laughs> great definitely the difficult <laughs> <laughs> chemical engineering is definitely difficult. Chemical engineering is a really fun degree, but it's definitely difficult. Okay. <laughs> difficult, but worth it. Definitely difficult. <laughs> <laughs> chemical engineering is definitely difficult. Cool. Cool, okay. Nice, nice, nice cool response there. Art. Chemical engineering is my personality. <laughs> I, I, I am out of exams. I have no personality right now. I do not know what to do. Uh, hard. Pain. Pain. Suffering, suffering and uh, lots of ready meals because you don't have time to cook. What job would you like to do after you finish your chemistry degree? I have no idea. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm considering all options. I'm actually considering uh, like engineering, PhD, or I don't know, finance. Um, can I say the F word? Uh, no, I cannot. <laughs> that, that is fine. But I would really like to work in pharmaceuticals. Hopefully working in either downstream or petrochemicals or maybe biofuels, something along those lines. Yeah. So ideal job would be working in F1, you know, like the fuel sector, like Petronas, nice. either that. But if I don't get that, it's quite competitive. There's always investment banking. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to go into like R&D, chemi chemical engineering. So a lot of like designing processes, making sure they're environmentally safe, making sure you know, or like, you know, designing new processes, which I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think I want to go into maybe energy, maybe renewable technology or something like that. Um, I want to work in a more kind of business oriented role and more like finance side role. It might seem kind of counterintuitive, like, oh, chem engineering, go into finance. Well, that's a very common um, industry pathway because chemical engineering kind of helps you with a lot of the teamwork skills and like, the soft skills. And you think like an engineer, so you're always naturally good at problem solving which a lot of the big finance firms want, so. Ah, I'll work in, so I've been looking into like uh, clean energy sources, right? So I've been, I'll be doing like a Europe later in summer. So it'll be around like clean energy sources. So I think this is really a field that I'm really interested in. I don't know, definitely want to go into chemical engineering, not 100% sure what. I think, yeah, I don't know. I need, I do need to think about that, I think. Probably finance now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a little bit too early to say. Another thing about chemical engineering is that it allows you to uh, explore different opportunities as a profession. So you can go into a variety of areas within the production industry, whether it's energy, nuclear, uh, manufacturing, food, literally anything you can think of. That's a very interesting question. I think it's one that I've been exploring. I think as an individual, I've always felt that um, it's something I want to do to create solutions to some of the world's largest problems and I think that's something that I've been exploring and trying to figure out where the world best needs me and where my skills would be more suited for that and I suppose that it's a journey of discovery that well to each there is their own answer and for me I'm still looking for that fair enough companies fair enough. please hire me <laughs> companies please hire me if you're watching this <laughs> okay thank you for sharing thank you for watching the video be sure to like it if you enjoyed it and leave your comments and suggestions down in the comments section below. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels and if you click on the on-screen cards now you can watch another one of our videos. Click on the centre card to subscribe and don't forget to share this video if you found it useful. Further information can be found in the description and thank you very much.